now my dear student come um, most welcome that is now fourth colligative property that is the osmotic pressure generated denoted by the pi or it can be denoted as p you know very well that pressure is directly proportional to concentration according to charles law and pressure is directly proportional to temperature according to boyle's law we are mixing these two equation 1 and 2 that comes to you pressure is actually proportional to C and T and P is equal to given RCT gas constant then come we can write down P is equal to C R T and C know that concentration number of moles per liter of solution then now P comes to you N by V R T we can give this one also P V is equal to NRT and if anybody asks to you that how the colligative property will depend upon the number of moles you come the equation up to this form where number of moles has been represented now this P is directly proportional to N and it is proved and my dear student we will go forward also P V is equal to number of moles given mass by molar mass R T and then P is equal to or pi is equal to given mass by volume R T by the molar mass. Must take care this formula and one important thing that is this can be has been asked in number of exam and can be this year also that osmotic pressure method is one of the best method one of the best method to find out the mass of solute or molar mass of solute why because that we are using the term here molality molality number one number two it can be used on the macromolecules like as carbohydrate starch fat So be aware whenever you will put you the theoretical questions only these are the theoretical questions and after that in the next class I will discuss the very important topic that is the water factor and continue with the colligative property that now osmotic pressure method is the best method and you have heard that osmosis and again you have heard that reverse osmosis. Yes, my dear student, you have heard the term osmosis. Osmosis means movement of particle from high concentration to low concentration through semi permeable membrane that is called osmosis. And diagrammatically, I am showing you that this is an origin. And if you will put water sunlight, that water goes into the resin, and that is term known as hypotonic. And another is that whenever I put that resin in the open plate, water will come from resin into the plate, that is known as the hypotonic. And whenever solution becomes equal in both sides, that is called isotonic. And beyond this one, whenever pressure is applied, against the osmosis whenever pressure is applied against the osmosis then it is called reverse osmosis this diagram has been asked number of times in number of exams and that is the reverse osmosis and that arm we are using at our home also this diagram is coming in the exam you see clearly in the books this is RO is what reverse osmosis and example is what desalination. 
means that removing out of the salt from the sea. Then we are applying the pressure against the osmosis. That is called reverse osmosis and that's the type. And one more term is that edema. In general at our home, when we are mixing the water with pulses, water with pulses, they get fluffy. And that term is called edema. This can be asked in the exam being as an a value based question and reverse osmosis you must take care. Now come in the next class and we will discuss one of the most burning topic and that is the water factor that we put, we use, we apply in the colligative property by showing the eye. Thank you very much guys.